Hi everybody, um, someone requested that I review or well, actually I tear down the IT6322 power supply that I recently reviewed and so I thought I'd give that a shot I'm not going to tear down the whole thing but just to look at the insights just to see um, how it looked like and uh, actually I'm quite impressed with the uh, contents you will see later on uh, it's physically not so well built but other than that the electronics are pretty good I did not look under the board uh, although I took a peek inside and there was just mainly a couple of passives there right so let's jump right in so you know I didn't want to spend time shooting me taking out the screws so we can jump right into it you know as Dave uh, would say we are in like well actually as Abe would say we're in like sin alright very nicely built actually I would say not impressive um, physical construction um, but the electronics looks pretty good basically what you have and I'm, I'm actually going to try and zoom in here so you can see a little bit better okay so you can now see um, mainly you have these sections in here so this will be like one one section uh, one section of the power supply and there are three of these right one two three and uh, with this this two sections here these are 47,000 microfarad uh, capacitors one, 105 degrees rated at 633 volts it is the Lelon brand I've not heard of this but it looks it looks all right the construction of this whole thing this relays down here which you might be able to see these are Omron relays so they are using good parts and um, each of these sections really you have a microprocessor I'm not sure again if you can see this but let me see if I put on the light here right this here that's the uh, 8051 F350 and that's a, a silicon labs uh, microcontroller with um, 24 or 16 bit uh, ADC so that's what it's using to sample the voltage I reckon so you have two of those you have one more down here as well okay just um yes you can see this right here there's one more and then over here on the side we have uh, another microcontroller but this one is actually um, this is actually um, uh, STM32 right STM32 103 uh, C8 so that one only has a 10 bit micro uh, 10 bit ADC now on the let me see if I can get this even closer without losing focus okay that's about as far as I can go I may have to zoom in uh, in post but if you look at these these are MC33179 uh, quad op amps low noise op amps this this two are the same um, and then over here you have OP07 also a op amp um, off on the side here there are a couple of uh, opto isolators but overall the construction of this thing is pretty good I'd say I mean you know the nothing unusual nothing surprising this is the uh, stuff you would expect to see in a power supply a couple of MOVs down at the side if I can move this up a little bit you might be able to see this uh, you have MOVs down here as well as um, up over here I need to get a setup where I can move this thing around you can see all this blue these are MOVs there's a P uh, NTC fuse down here as well now this block here with the uh, aluminium block here that's the um, that's the main uh, heat sink um, and so on the heat sink you have um, you have actually a bridge rectifier for each channel so I've got three channels on this power supply on each channel there's a bridge rectifier here and then uh, also for every channel there is a um, there's a TIP uh, TIP 35 so there's a TI, large TIP35 NTN transistor along with the uh, smaller uh, TIP42 PNP so I'm guessing that these two are working together in sort of the Darlington configuration and then down here that's another uh, bipolar transistor I can't quite see it here and on the other side you're the same so this this whole arrangement is uh, duplicated for all three channels uh, if I turn this on the side you might be able to see uh, over here that that would be the uh, current sensing resistor you know just a heavy duty um, looks what looks like copper actually looks more like brass so they're probably using that to measure the current for the uh, sensing and the regulation control right so that's that a uh, whole bunch of little 
down here on this side um, a bunch of smaller LM7805 and uh, LM3117 so these are linear regulators for 5 volts and 3.3 volts uh, presumably to power the, the logic uh, parts and the microcontrollers and okay so let's kind of continue here uh, we before we got cut off there so I have zoomed this in so you can look at this uh, transformer here this big chunk of a transformer vendor V N D E R is iTech Electronics so they wire they, they wind their own transformers apparently uh, it's got uh, 110 volts as well as 220 volts uh, support so you you know just short out this two and you get the 220 volts basically two of the primary coils in series I think that will want make it uh, that's what it does now it's quite interesting there are three primary outputs uh, this gray white blue brown they they have taps at 7.5 volts 23 34 volts so three major main taps and then on the third channel you have just <coughs> 11 volts 3.5 amps so the rest of these these are low current uh, low current uh, outputs presumably used to power you know some of the support logic and some other circuits and maybe even uh, for the um, VFD display out in front so what's interesting is that these two main one has uh, multiple tabs this one only has one so I am thinking that these two channels so I'm thinking now let me get this zoomed out again right so we have these two channels right these two channels and we see the uh, transformers are down here and hopefully you can see that we have transformers presumably to switch over the appropriate taps uh, in order that uh, you can get a slightly better power efficiency you don't you know, burn everything up and then you have one channel down here which probably it's you know just limited to five volts uh, or something I, I have to check maybe six volts and that's the one that uh, uses the single 11 volt output tap right that, that's not too bad if I keep using five volts then the output is at 7.5 the loss is actually pretty good you know if I'm using 12 volts then I probably generate a bit more heat now early on I mentioned that this was a bipolar actually I checked uh, in the uh, intermission thanks to the magic of editing this is actually an RF5, IRF540 uh, FED and you got one on each channel uh, frankly I've not looked at how this whole thing is uh, configured so I couldn't really tell you but it looks to me like the main main power device is actually the TIP TIP35 alright uh, what else do we have okay well I guess we could look at the this cable down here which goes out to the front and on the front display board I'm not about to take it all out because you know I'm not Dave Jones and even Dave Jones doesn't do that sometimes but if you can look down here I'm not sure if you can see it that's actually another STM uh, 32103 there the STM32 uh, F103 and then there's this big PT6314 um, big CPU I, that's probably for the controlling of the VFD uh, a couple of passives and there's also another one let me see if I can zoom this in for a slightly bit of view okay that's the there's a beeper out here as well as the um, I guess the output panel which is a little bit separate from the others interesting you know they, they there's a cut out right there it, it doesn't use the same board uh, and then of course the front panel BNC's uh, overall I'd say this whole thing is uh, pretty well built all right I see uh, the earthing cable coming in here and then it's bolted to the chassis chassis and then from the chassis back to the main board so um, transformer is also uh, grounded so that's all nice and good the switch comes through this long plastic thing uh, that's a physical real switch there none of that soft switch rubbish which uh, leaks power or saps power when it's not in use a couple of components here which I'm not real sure what it is because it's hitch shrink a uh, whole bunch of electrolytics down here that's a that's a serial uh, port at the back there. I'm not sure which CPU is handling the CPU uh, the the serial control And then there's this thing that I have not read the manual. So I'm not sure what this this header here is for So the fan 
I think what it does is probably sucks in the air here and blows it right through that. Either that or, or the other way around, I suppose. Um, well, I guess that's about it.